are you from? Mom and Dad, and you? <laughs> Where the hell do you think I'm from? I came from an orphanage on a foreign planet. You are killing me. Far away. What town are you from? Where are you, um, where are you from? I, I was born here. I'm gonna... Sheboygan, Michigan. But I okay. haven't lived there in 600 years. <laughs> My husband was born in Michigan. What part? Uh, his mom. His mom? Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. born in his mom in yeah, Michigan. Yeah, now I'm getting catching okay, on. Okay, she's catching on. Uh, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Oh, outside of the Detroit suburb area. Yeah, from what I'm told. I don't know. It is. There is a so what are you doing down in these parts? Uh, I was working on a news story. Really? Yes. And it didn't work out as well as I thought it would. <laughs> I got my ass kicked. No. <laughs> well, maybe yes. Maybe no, no, this is the real story, hon. You didn't well, fall. You know, I'm just kidding. Well, when you check in and you say stuff like that, well, did you file a police report? No. We don't do that. You keep your mouth shut, you get out of town with the footage, and you put it on the air, and then you hope you consume later for kicking your ass. Are you being serious right now? I yes. You are. Maybe yes, maybe no. I know, right? It's a good script, isn't it? It is. See, I like it's this. working. I, I need to know more, but. Okay. All right, fly Film on your back. Film <laughs> Yes. Uh, I should probably not have all of these. Uh, you Okay. Yeah, it's not going to bother nothing. Okay. You can hold it. Hold it. Okay. This is me going in the tube again. <laughs> Here we go, Mom. I'll be okay. Oh, you're a mess. What's your birthday? May 31st. 59? I'm a triple Gemini, so I've been told whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. What's a triple Gemini? I mean, I'm like a Gemini. My moon is in Uranus, and... <laughs> My son is near your moon. I don't know. I don't study this shit. That's what the experts told me. Oh my gosh, you're killing me. Well, Let's turn. I you. hope you live after the experience. <laughs> Tuck your chin down for me. Ah. No, stop it. Turn, uh, look oh, down. Like that. There you okay. go. That tucking. All right. This is not a dip and tuck. It's not just a, a bend and, and fold. <laughs> ah. Okay. You're going to hold real still, okay? Yes. All right. Don't move. Well, I can't control all bodily functions, but I'll try. Okay. In and out. Here we go. That's what she said. Oh, my gosh. In and out. That's a hamburger. In L.A. In and out. It's spinning in circles. <laughs> Baby. So when's okay, your, here we go. When's your birthday? May uh, what? June 8th. Oh, we're days apart. Yeah, I just had one. You did too. Okay. Oh, allegedly. <laughs> it okay. sucked. <laughs> it's my worst birthday ever. All right, we're going to get these pictures real fast, okay? All right, I'll hey, stay still. Stay still, don't move. Can I breathe? Please breathe, it's important. Okay. It's important. Ah, look, I see my face again. Here we go. Don't move or talk, okay? Here we go. Breathe deep.
was fun. Well, I'm almost afraid to ask, but why did your birthday not go so well? Well, because all my friends in Hollywood <laughs> forgot to wish me happy birthday. <laughs> and when I reached out to some of them, they're like, well, it's a long story. But let's just say they won't be getting any more red carpet invites. What? Yeah. They can find their own way into the awards show next year. <laughs> Asshole. Kurt, you seem like you should go see a doctor. Yeah, but not for the reasons you're thinking I should, you cunts. Oh, <clears throat> did I say that out loud? See, when I'm not playing the other guy you have there... What? I'm not playing that guy. Under hip, but you can't divulge this. Oh, uh, well, what is this? Right. I mean, I know what this All is, right. but... Play that guy. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Are you serious? Well, I've done everything from Saturday Night Live to the Today Show to major motion picture films with Morgan Freeman. You have not. Google and serious? find out there's only about 30 million references. I'm not the fat Republican <laughs> senator. I'm not the gay athlete, but if it has to do with anything with government... Intelligence, humanitarian, television, film, pick a topic, Google the name, and I'll show up. Really? With pictures that may look less beaten up than this guy does, and shaven and you, clean. What and, are you doing in your mm, Working on a story that got my ass kicked. He was. What story? Um, oh, yeah, this is your Well, I guess people in Texas aren't oh, real fond of films about global warming and stopping fracking and deforestation and killing everything on the fucking planet. Yeah, I'm doing several films on rainforests and corruption in government. These films I probably shouldn't have made so public until they were done because it's got my ass kicked several times around the planet. Are you serious? Absolutely. Oh yeah, and if you even put in Kirk Kelly and Intel, not like the company, but Intel like high level intelligence, you'll find out my network was breached about a year ago and I'm the victim of one of the worst identity thefts in the history of US government. Yeah, it's being investigated by the FBI, DOJ, Homeland Security, the Federal Trade Commission. Oh yeah, it's a nightmare. So, I travel as other me's to stay alive. Joe sometimes, sometimes a different name. They're all legal like around passports. How is that? How is that legal? How is it? Well, see what I'm you, just asking. I have you know no idea. people in the State Department, they let you travel under multiple identities. No way. Well, it does say that, doesn't it? Yeah. And it also, if I wanted to be like, this guy, or this guy, or... I could talk to you for hours. See, there's even multiple signatures, and it says see that page to find out other shit. Are you freaking kidding me? That is uh, amazing. It's hard to fake a passport like this. <laughs> yeah, and you've done it very, very well if you did. I've traveled the planet. Oh my god. So um, you're, but you're from Michigan, huh? Ideas. Well, that's what it says. Even in India, I have a work visa. Oh and in other countries. So, what is your main deal? What do you mainly do? As far as the world knows, <laughs> produce comedies, do interviews with celebrities. How did you get into this? I, I mean, was how born did... into politics. I didn't get involved. When you get born into high your level Your parents politics. were world leaders for about over six to eight hundred years. Everything from lords to uh -uh. oh really? yeah, yeah. And so when you're born into that, you don't really get a vote. They put a tattoo on your ass and think they can just pull you in for anything for the rest of your life. And it didn't help that I married into the other side all the way to the White House twice. Uh-uh. Yeah, you've heard of the Bakers, like James Baker, Howard Baker, Edward Baker. Edward uh -huh. Baker was my father-in-law. He had to be FDA for several administrations from Nixon, Ford, Bush, Bush, Reagan, all those people. I've come to believe they all lie. 
It doesn't matter what side they're on. <laughs> it's just spin control on whatever bullshit they need to back you to get elected and skim oh, money out of the economy. I believe that. If they paid taxes on all the outsourced jobs they put in third world countries, the undeclared income of the Senate and House of Representatives alone last year was $10 trillion. If they lived by the same laws they made for we people, these smugglers would be in prison. All of them. All of them. Mm -hmm. White House down. And if you want to really blow your mind, go to facebook.com forward slash Kirk Kelly Entertainment and look for the story about the White House and martial law that's on the books right now. Anytime between now and inauguration, all you have to do it's already been enacted two and a half years ago. They don't even need a vote of Congress. He can say it's martial law for national security reasons with all these bombings and shootings going off. It's on the White House website. If you Google martial, like in military term, M-A-R-T-I-A-L, law and White House, it brings it right up. It's called the Ready Preparedness Act, and it defines martial law. So even if we have an election, we still have to be inaugurated. So anytime between now and inauguration, if they don't like who's elected, they just dump the inauguration. It's on the White House website. It's not conspicuous. They voted in the law in April of 2014. And no news media covered it. And they don't like the fact that they're making it up to the public. But I think the public has a right to know. How does they do that? Well, go look at, just Google martial law do whatever they want. and Obama, and it'll bring you right to the website. And the actual whole act. Really? Yeah, there's thousands of references, about 500,000 references on the internet. But no news media is making a big deal out of it because they must have some kind of vested interest in it, you think, maybe? Hmm. Well, I'm so thinking big money won't be affected by martial law. Big money who owns big companies don't give a shit. But for the rest of us, they already have, according to what's on the White House website, enough facilities built in the deserts here and in California and throughout the Southwest to house 50 million people if they decide to incarcerate people for questioning. Not a pleasant thought. It's on the internet, bro. That is crazy. If I'm crazy, Google it on a computer right now. Scary. I'll show you it on my phone if you. I believe you. I'm just saying, oh my gosh. Oh, it's real. It's very real. Can I close this for a second? Martial Law, White House. There you go. Oh, look, it comes right up. Let's read into that. Okay, they were hollering for you. Okay. Interesting fact, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And right there, it's on the White House. Executive Order, White House. Wow. And you saw what I... Google, mm -hmm. and you see where it just took me. Marshall Rain. But I couldn't have just pull this out of my hands <laughs> and put it on the website. So maybe it's real. You just saw me Google it. Can you step on that cigarette no. now? It'll only be five minutes, I promise to return them that way away. They might kill me in the parking lot, but I No, you can't all leave this. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, when? Now, now's a good time. Uh, when I get out of here alive, back to California, then maybe I'll quit. Hey, you take care of yourself, okay? Seriously, it's been a thrill ride and a half. <laughs> now you see why. You take care. Thanks. Be careful. Literally.